Hi, my name is Rina Chow and I am a bioinformatician at Boston University, section of computational biomedicine. Today, I will talk about Kadra, a containerized and cloud deployable open source software package for candidate driver analysis of multi-omics data. So Kadra is short for candidate driver analysis. It's a statistical framework that we developed to support the identification of genetic and possibly epigenetic driver of a molecular phenotype of interest. The manuscript describing the method, uh, which published in 2019, had received a considerable attention from researchers who asked to share code and documentation on how to use the package. Here is an overview of Kadra workflow. Kadra takes two input. The first one is a binary multi-omics dataset, where the rows are one or zero vector indicating the present or absence of omics feature, just as semantic mutation, copy number alteration, epigenetic marks, etc. Second is molecular phenotype represented as a vector of continued score. The sample specific input score representing a phenotypic readout of interest just at protein expression, pathway activity, etc. First, Kadra choose a starting feature, which is either the features having the best score based on a given scoring method or a user-specific star feature. In the next step, the union logical or of this feature with each of the remaining features in the dataset is taken. Using meta feature with the corresponding score, if any of the meta feature have a better score than the hit from the previous step, the new meta feature is chosen for the next iteration. Repeat step two and three until no further improvement in score can be obtained. The final output is a set of features, meta features, whose union have the local maximum score and its permutation based p-value. Here we will illustrate the usage of Kadra by walking you through its application to one of the data set provided with the package. In particular, we are using a data set of semantic mutation and copy number alteration from TCGA breast cancer data set. This is the feature set. We query this feature set based on an input score that measure the per sample activity of YAC tag the two important regulator of HIPPO pathway. This score represents the projection on the CCGK breast cancer data set of a gene expression signature of rac tag knockdown derived from breast cancer cell line. And here we are asking the question, what is the combination of genetic features, mutation and copy number alteration that best explain tag rac activity? The result returned by the application of Kadra are summarized in this plot, which is actually one of the packet output. The top plot shows the input score from largest to smallest measuring the rack tag activity. The middle plot shows the three genetic features, two copy number losses and one mutation as black ticks, and the union meta features as red ticks. Finally, since we use a KS-based scoring function to query the data set, the bottom plot show the mountain plot of the enrichment score corresponding to the red meta features. In other words, Kadra find the combination of two deletion and one mutation to be the best predictor of rag tag activity in BRCA data set. This suggests they are the important driver of this molecular phenotype. In the first implementation of Kadra, it's only supported rank based scoring function just as KS test or with constant test. It was only available as a top of script downloadable from GitHub with minimal documentation, no QAM or bioconductor compliance structure. And the dependency have to be independently resolved and installed before one can install and use the package. So we develop a new version of Kadra, Kadra 2. It is now implemented as a bioconductor compliant package, soon to be submitted, with dual documentation, including vignette and tutorial that utilize the sample data set included in the package. 
Kaja 2 incorporates additional scoring function not available in the original package. These include mutual information as implemented in the revealer package and the specification of custom a user provided scoring function. The code base of Kadra was clean, hardened, and optimized as an open source R package developed based on best software engineering practice and design principle. It is now meet by conductor and tidywork style guidelines. We also implement a simple R shiny interface that supports multi query modalities and multiple visualization options. Finally, and more importantly, we containerize the package and all its dependency as a Docker image, available through Docker Hub ready for cloud deployment. You can access Kadra code base on our GitHub repo, which includes dual documentation and tutorial on how to use the package. We are also finalizing our submission of the package to by conductor. We containerize all the dependency needed to run Kadra using Docker. The Kadra Docker image is now available on our Docker Hub. Researchers can easily pull this image and reproduce our work on any machine that runs Docker. We also successfully tested the deployment of our Shiny application on Heroku using our containerized Docker image. The package can also be deployed on AWS and Google Cloud. Finally, we deploy Kadra R Shiny application on our lab server, again using our Docker image as well. Check out the provided link for more detail. Lastly, we would like to say thank you to NICDR who funding make this project possible. That's it for my presentation. Thank you.